Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Flaws back again with another video and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the brand new Google Nexus 6. Now, shout out to everybody who watched my videos. It's been a while since I reviewed anything from Motorola, but I'm definitely hype about this one because of the display size. Alright, 6 inch display. This is the big boy right here. Alright, so let's get right into this. First off, the price. Now, off contract, I got this from Sprint. After taxes, you're going to pay about 750 bucks. That's for the 32 gig version. Now, if you want the 64 gig version, that's going to run you an extra 50 bucks. So you'll be looking at about 800. Presentation. Beautiful presentation. I like the red and white theme. Now, I know everybody want to see the little unboxing knife. So, shout out to the little unboxing knife on deck. But um, unfortunately, at Sprint, they won't let you leave the store without uh, turning the phone on. So I had to open it up already. All right, so there it goes. So let's just slide this open, and I'll show y'all what you get inside the box. Now, I haven't played with the phone. I actually just let them power it up just so they could uh, throw the SIM card in there and keep it moving. All right, so you get this little uh, packet right here. Let's see what's in here, fellas. Get ready. The usual books and shit. Real simple. All right, here's your SIM ejection tool. Safety and warranty. How to plug the phone in. Real simple. File that to the side. Let's see what else you get in here. Now you get your micro USB charging cable. Let's see. Not too long. Standard length. Pretty short like the Samsung ones. That's all you get. And you also get your charging cradle. Charging adapter. Whatever you want to call it. Now keep in mind this supports turbo power. Okay, so this is your turbo power supply. I'm going to do some testing and figure out how long it takes to charge the phone. Let's see if it could beat the Galaxy Note 4. All right, but a nice looking charger right here. The little Motorola emblem on it. Nice and glossy. I like that little stuff. All right, so that's all you get inside the box. Now let's take a look at the actual phone. Matter of fact, let's, uh, let's turn it off and turn it back on just so I can see the actual animation. beautiful looking phone now sprint only has the midnight blue version and um if you look closely it kind of looks black which i'm glad because i don't really like having a blue phone but since it looks kind of black i'm not really uh too mad about that now let's uh, peel this plastic off now i heard somebody left in one of the comments they said this is actually better than sex i don't know about that all right i'm gonna have to disagree with you on that but it is um it is cool so let's power this on and let's go over the specs real quick. Now, y'all know I hate talking about specs, but since this is an unboxing video, let's just get all the specs out the way so when I do the real review, we don't got to talk about this bullshit again. First off, it's running Android 5.0. That's Lollipop. That's the latest version of Android. So that's one of the main selling points of getting this phone. If you're a hardcore, diehard Android fan, then um, you want to get this because it's the latest Android. You'll be the only person that got this right now. Let's see what else I'm um, as far as the specs. Now to keep this is um splash resistant. Now it's not waterproof, not um IP67 like the Galaxy S5, but it's splash resistant. Alright, so if you get you know you get a little bit of water on it and the rain and all that, you're not gonna have a problem. Let's see, uh camera. Okay, now here's a big deal. Camera. On the back, you got a 13 megapixel camera. Okay, with dual LED flash. There go your two LEDs. On the front. You got a 2 megapixel camera. Now, I know what you're saying. On paper, that's a lot less than the stuff that Samsung is putting out. Some of these other companies is putting out way better cameras on paper. But we're going to have to do the actual test and see how that works. All right, now keep in mind this also has autofocus, optical image stabilization, face detection, digital zoom, all of that junk. All right, so everything's on there. Now, as far as the chipset, it's running the latest Snapdragon 805. All right, and if you don't know what that means, that means that it's a beast. It's going to be running nice and smooth. You should have no lag. All right, it's a quad core uh, clocked in at 2.7 gigahertz, I believe. I could be wrong. Check the specs for yourself. All right, let's see. Um, Built-in storage, 32 gig or 64 gig. Now, battery. It has the same capacity size battery as your Galaxy Note 4. All right, 3,220 milliamps. That should be enough for a whole day. Uh, let's see how that works. Now, without it running any... Uh, skins on top of it like TouchWiz and HTC Sense the battery might actually be good but we'll see we'll see how that works out 
And um, pretty much that's it for the specs. I mean, you can see all the specs on the website. Go Google that for yourself. Let's look around the device. You got your power button. And if you zoom in close, let's see if I get a close up on that. The power button has a little ridges on it. You have your volume up and down. That's on the right side. Nothing else. On the top, this is where you're going to put your SIM at. You got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. No IR blaster. All right. That's a no-no right there. And something I forgot to mention real quick. Let me show you the box again. You see this? No free headphones. That's another no-no right there. All right. So Motorola, <laughs> I'm not feeling that already. All right? I like headphones with my devices. You know, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. I always like a free set of headphones. Now, of course, my headphones is probably going to end up like this. You know, still with the, the twist tie on them, I just throw these to the side. But what I like to do is I use wireless headphones in the gym. So I like to throw some headphones like that in my gym bag. So if I forget to charge my headphones, I always got a set of headphones on deck. So there's your camera on the back. You got your Nexus branding. You got your little Motorola M, which is indented. Now, like I said, I haven't reviewed any Motorola phones in a while, but I basically played with them and seen them. And they all look like this with this little dent right here in the middle. You know, but they all look pretty much the same. On the bottom, you got your micro USB charging port. The phone kind of feels like aluminum and plastic. I don't know. You got to have to check the specs for yourself. But I think this is plastic. I could be wrong, but it feels like plastic. It just has an aluminum kind of feel to it. Now, on the front of the device, let me, let me exit out of this real quick. On the front, you got your speakers on the front. Now, I cannot complain about that. Y'all already know how I feel about the HTC One M8 and other phones that, and other tablets and stuff that have speakers on the front. That is the best place to put speakers. All right, you can't deny that. That's the best place that you can put any speakers out on the phone. Now, the display on this is banging. You're talking about a six-inch display. All right, six-inch display, that's crazy. And if you want to get technical, it's 1440 by 2560 with 493 on the PPI. What does all that mean? That just means that your display is going to look beautiful. It's right up there with everything else in the market. Now, I don't like the crunch numbers and all that. You know, I've, you know, going to a retina display and 4K displays with like the um, LG G3 and all that stuff. All that stuff is really irrelevant. How does it look to the naked eye? And it looks beautiful. All right. Now, when I do the real review, I'll let y'all know how it looks outside when I'm in the sun and all of that. But we'll see. Now, I got to set this up. I haven't even put my Google account in there yet. Uh, let's, uh, matter of fact, you're supposed to have tap and go on this, so you can just tap your phone and connect it to another phone that you have that's active or, or non-active and it'll sync over all your accounts, so we'll see. Also, another thing I got to mention, this phone has built-in wireless charging. All right, so let me grab one of my wireless chargers right here. Let's plug this in and let's see if we could get some uh, wireless charge going on. All right, now I'm doing this a crazy way. I got my Samsung wireless charger. Vivis Knight, we'll turn this on, and let's see if we could get some uh, charge on this. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We're down the wrong. There we go. All right, charging up. So wireless charging works on this. I also got the Keystone. Let's um, let's try this. All right, so wireless charging built in. So that's definitely a good look right here. No, no having to take the battery off and add any third party, you know, charging solutions. Built in wireless charger. All right, so that's a win right there. Now, I'm going to pause the video. Let me grab another phone. Matter of fact, before I even do that, let's do a little size comparison just in case you want to see how important this big six inch display is. Now, um, if y'all watch my videos, y'all know the HTC One Max with the 5.9 inch screen. That was one of my favorite phones, not because of the speakers on the front. Y'all already know the camera on that was trash. The processor was a little bit slow. It was one of my favorite phones strictly because of the size. Now, I'm a big dude, so big phones is right up my alley. And this 6-inch display right here, I can already see that this is probably going to be my number two or number three phone in my lineup. All right, so let's just pull out some of the other phones I got on deck, and we'll see a little size comparison. All right, here goes your iPhone 6 Plus. Now, the 6 Plus, this is a long phone, even though this display is not that big, but it's a long phone. So the 6 Plus is actually taller if you're going by length. 6 Plus, about the same thickness, but two big phones right here. Let's see what else we got on deck. Now, I'll just run through some of these. Just in case whatever phone you got at home, you might have one of these. Let's see, your Galaxy S5. Way bigger than the Galaxy S5. 
All right, way bigger. Let's see what else we got. Let's see, we got HTC One M8. Okay, you already know, way bigger than the M8. Now you see your ambient notifications. Now, if I get a notification, I'll show you how that works. But we'll basically save all that stuff for the real review. This is just a quick unboxing. All right, so way bigger than your HTC One M8. Let's see, um, what else we got over here? G3, one of my other favorite phones. All right, so a little bit bigger than your G3. Okay, a little bit bigger. Now let's get to, um, the, oh, of course we gotta get this out the way, because a lot of ladies gonna hit me up asking why didn't I show this. iPhone 6, no comparison. <laughs> No comment. Let's see. Um, <laughs> now, for my two favorite phones right now, let's start with the Galaxy Note 4. All right, so on your Galaxy Note 4, almost the same size. Almost the same size. Hold on a second. I just accidentally made a phone call. <laughs> All right. Almost the same size. Galaxy Note 4 actually has a better feel to it, in my opinion, with the aluminum sides. I don't know. This could be aluminum, too. Hit me up in the comments and let me know. I know y'all got to say, oh, you should have been more prepared and all of that, but it is what it is. I just went to the store, copped this, sat down, opened it up, start playing with it. All right, so let me know if this is aluminum or not. Let me see. It actually feels like aluminum. It might be aluminum or some kind of, some kind of composite material, but the Note 4 aluminum just feels a little bit better in the hand. I right, but the Nexus 6, the display is definitely bigger. If you line them up corner to corner, display is bigger. Now for my other favorite phone right now, the Galaxy Note Edge. Let's grab that. Okay, now it's a little bit taller than your Note Edge. Pretty much almost the same weight though. Now I don't like I said I don't crutch numbers and all that, but um pretty much the same weight. One doesn't feel extra heavy compared to the next. They both feel like a, a big phone in your hand. All right, but the edge. <laughs> ah, y'all see the bias coming out a little bit. Now, I'm, I'm, but I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I, I, I'm going into this with an open mind. I love Android. I love you know I like stock Android. I ain't gonna say I love it. I like stock Android. It's very simple and and clean and smooth. Especially all the new Google apps. I like how they coming out with all the nice colors and all that. But um. We're going to see. We're going to do a head-to-head -head with these and see if this could become my new go-to phone as opposed to this and the Note 4. All right, so that's a little size comparison right there. Matter of fact, let's see. Let's turn on NFC. Let's see if we could get some uh, tap to transfer going on here. Let's see. Do I have to... Um... All right, let me pause the video. I'm going to put my... Um, I'm going to set this up to my Wi-Fi and all of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I started from scratch, and now we're going to set this up. Real quick on a side note, the phone is metal and plastic. All right, I had to look at it a little bit more closely, play with it for a few minutes. The phone is metal and plastic. Now, when a new phone is coming out that I know for sure I'm gonna get something like this with a six inch display, top of the line specs, I know for sure I'm gonna get it. I purposely don't watch any other videos before I do my video. Because I don't wanna accidentally get biased because this person doesn't like this, that person doesn't like that. I like to go into it fresh with an open mind. That's why there's going to be a few things I don't know off the top when I'm doing my unboxing. But by the time I do the real review, I'll have already mastered this. All right, so now we have the tap and go screen. So what you're supposed to be able to do is tap this to another Android phone that has NFC and uh, all your settings, all your apps, everything will come back over. So let me grab one of my phones. Let me find my Galaxy Note. Let's turn this on and let's see if we could get this to work. Okay, you heard that sound? All right, so there we go. Copying data to your new device. Copying right over. All right, so we're going to let this copy some of the stuff over real quick, and um, I'll get right back. Okay, so now the phone is downloading all of my apps, all of my settings, all of my information. This is hot right here. All right, this is a hot feature. For somebody like me and a lot of y'all cats out there that like to get new phones all the time, this just makes it a lot easier and a lot more convenient to switch your information over. Just use the tap and go, NFC style, and beam all your information right there. That's hot. Now, fresh out the box, 
I'm feeling this phone. All right, I can't give it a go yet because I got to test the battery. I got to test the camera. I got to see if it lags out or not. You know, I got to test all the features. I got to really play with it and learn it. But just out the box, the way it feels, the way it's running right now, everything's nice and smooth. You see, you got your Android lock screen now with notifications on it. You can just slide the notifications. We'll get into all the Lollipop features in the review. But um, like I said, right out the gate, I'm feeling this, all right? Especially the size. The size and the build is a win. Now, is it going to be able to take the place of um, the heavy hitters right now? I don't know. I iPhone 6, this is a heavy hitter. And y'all know LG G G3, that's a heavy hitter. And of course, the main two heavy hitters that I got on deck right now is the Note series. All right, the Edge and the Note 4. Is this going to be able to take the top dog spot? We're going to see when I do the real review next week. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. You already know the deal. Get your drinks ready. Stream Gangsters on deck. Oh yeah, one more thing before I get out of here. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. And you see I got a... Android update already, so we're going to update update the Android OS and get it popping. Alright, I'll see y'all in the real review.